Hi, this is Don, and I'm a senior principal engineer in the VXREL and Cloud Solutions team. Today, we will look at how to check the health of the vSend cluster with the ESX CLI commands. The ESX CLI namespace for vSend includes options to monitor and control the vSend cluster. Specifically, we will be looking at the network, storage, cluster, health, and debug commands. ESX CLI vSend cluster get identifies the cluster information. We can see that this cluster is enabled, the local node is normal, which means it is not a witness. The local node is healthy as well. As we look farther down, we see that it is unicast mode, not in vSAN maintenance mode, and the mode is regular, so it is not a stretch cluster. ESX CLI vSAN storage list identifies the drives that are members of the vSAN cluster. We can see that these are identified as SSDs. We can identify the two disk groups that are on this node. We see the error capacity, and that encryption is not enabled. ESXCLI vSend network list. will identify what VMK NICs are used for vSAN and if it is the only type of traffic on the VM kernel port. ESX CLI vSAN health cluster list will show all the health checks and their states. This takes a moment to run, go as it runs through the health checks to give us a display. ESX CLI vSAN health cluster list dash W will show you the identifier along with the check name and states. With the cluster identifiers, we can use ESX CLI vSAN health cluster get dash T with the check name. In this case, we will use object health. And this will give us the stats of the objects in the cluster. For instance, there are only healthy objects in this cluster. Now that we have the basic items looked at, we can move into ESX CLI vSAN debug commands to dive further into the state of the cluster. With ESX CLI vSAN debug disk list, well, let us see the objects for disks. VM swap and the namespace for the virtual machines. And for the last example, we have ESX CLI vSAN debug resync list. This will identify if there are any objects that are synchronizing between the hosts. In this instance, with nothing resyncing, we get no output. Otherwise, we would have an identifier for the object, the component of that object, and how many bytes and gigabytes are left to sync. Thank you for listening, and I hope this has helped.